So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 10th TypeScript tutorial in which I'm going to show you what is optional argument and uh, you know how it is pretty much different from the default one. Well actually it, is, is, it isn't different at all from the default one, it's just that in optional you are just creating an optional argument, you know I don't know how to explain that, I'm just going to show you a code and you might probably figure it out yourself. So let's just create a function which is area of square this time, right? And it accepts argument as side, which is a number. And then another argument which would be like uh, is integer, which would kind of return us an integer instead of uh, you know any decimal value or decimal number or any floating point number which gets into our calculation while calculating the area so this would be a type of boolean right and obviously I want to make this integer an optional right so if it is passed as true then only you know kind of make the response as an integer otherwise we are okay with decimal if it is false or if it is if it isn't passed at all so to do that just put a question mark here in front of your variable name so now it is kind of optional so your typescript compiler won't bug you if you don't pass an in is integer as the argument while calling the area of square function so what i can do now is that i can safely say is integer then return math.floor or you can just seal it up as well number times number otherwise return number times actually it's side not number All right and uh, let me just copy this thing right here as well and uh, what we need to do now is pretty much just call in console log area of square 5.25 and uh, see I'm not passing anything so if I reload this oh actually I haven't built it this yet hit enter and it's there so you see not much of a change so if I reload this you can see that I get 27.5625 but check this out if I pass in true with the calling of this and then build it right and now if I reload the page I guess with my mouse you can see I get the answer as 27 instead of you know the decimal value so that is how pretty much you make this thing a boolean value uh, actually not a boolean actually an optional value so you could have made this a default one as false as as well it would just work fine but uh, you know we can just make it a default or actually a optional value as well so yeah one more thing i want to tell you about this is that you can actually define the return type of the function as well in typescript well that's pretty cool because it adds more functionality like statically typed languages like C and C++ where you have actually you have to actually define the return type of the function as well so this kind of you know scales down a lot of bugs you might unknowingly create in your JavaScript code so that is kind of advantages of TypeScript over vanilla JS so you can just specify a number here because I'm pretty sure the area of square would be a number only so now you can see that uh, if I try to return something like uh, which is not a number like return zero something like that you can see that I already get this wavy line and if I compile my code you can see that I get an error type string is not assignable to type number which is of this type but if you just omit this then you can by default by mistake you know pretty much uh, actually get an error but uh, no best common type exists among return expressions 
yeah okay it's some sort of giving some sort of clue to you as well right now but it's better to define your return data type with function as well so that is how pretty much you create a optional argument and define a return type for your function as well and in the next tutorial what i'm gonna actually cover is that how you can overload functions and it's pretty easy and you know the word overloading kind of looks a lot technical but it's it's hell lot easy it's easier than you can think so that is all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one